Hey y'all, it's Crystal. Welcome, welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping in today. It's day 21 for the 30 days of Stephen Graham Jones. That's been going on this entire month here on BookTube. And um, as a reminder, this was the brainchild of Amanda over at the Reading and Writing Life. She has put this together and a bunch of other channels have been chatting about Stephen Graham Jones all month. It's been pretty fun. I really enjoyed uh, watching uh, and hearing everybody chat about Stephen Graham Jones and uh, you know a lot of the stories I've, I've not read. I've not read more you know Stephen Graham Jones than I have read so it's been really cool to uh, there's a few of, of the things that have been discussed that I hadn't even heard about so that's been really cool so again I will link Amanda's channel below and I'll link the playlist below as well so you can watch all of the Stephen Graham Jones chats so but I'm back today with a, another you know Stephen Graham Jones work and I'm going to talk about a short story today. This short story is collected in this anthology which just came out earlier this year so it is brand new. Uh, this is When Things Get Dark and these are works that are inspired by or in ode to Shirley Jackson and this was edited by Ellen Datlow who's basically the queen of horror anthologies and first this cover is amazing. <laughs> the glasses is a main theme throughout the uh, sort of aesthetics of the book and, and everything. Uh, but Stephen Graham Jones's story in this is called Refinery Road and um, I really really liked it. So <clears throat> we're basically following uh, at the very beginning of the book we meet a man named Jensen and he's like kind of on this kind of work trip and he's sitting in a bar just trying to have a drink and there's like trivia you know yeah you, know, you know bar trivia going on he's just trying to like have a drink you know and then you during the course of the trivia questions one of the answers triggers a memory and we are then kind of transported back to his teen years and um and, and what happened back then right and so we're following him and a, two of his friends, Kara and Moat, as they're kind of driving around in his mom's car, and something has happened, and they are out on Refinery Road, and and that's kind of it's kind of like on the outskirts of town. It's this you know, kind of a dark, you know, abandoned kind of road, not too not too much traffic, that sort of thing, and as something like I said, something happens. Well, they're out on the road, something a bit dark, and I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> it is a short story after all, but what I thought was so wonderful about that is Stephen Graham Jones, he's just a good writer, right? So he really, in the short story, which I think was like 12 pages, it wasn't very long at all, he really captured that sense of place with a memory you know how some how we can really something can trigger a memory and we are immediately transported to a place in time in our past that really feels real and we it's just something we know image for image we remember the sense the sounds you know the everything that that happened and what people said and how you felt everything and that was really captured very well in the story also, I really feel like how a lot of that sort of really intense memory is often based on traumatic events, sadly, you know. Those things, of course, really latch on to our psyche and can be hard to, you know, kind of break away from. And there's kind of that, you know, age-old question, like, if you could go back and change something, would you? Would you? And would it make a difference? Or would you just choose something totally different and your life would, of course, very much change? I, I'm trying not to spoil stuff. <laughs> so I, yeah, I thought this was a just a really fantastic story. So Refinery Road. Um, it was really wonderful. He really captured a lot in a short amount of time. Gave us a sense of place. You understood the characters. I think we've all, you know, we were all teenagers at one point and we're either struggling with something or 
maybe being a little defiant of our parents, um, things like that. All of that's in this is captured in this story so wonderfully in just a few pages. So I thought it was really well done. I highly recommend this story. You know, if you are a, kind of trying to be a Stephen Graham Jones completionist, you can't miss out on this story, Refinery Road, collected here in When Things Get Dark, an ode to Shirley Jackson. So yeah, I highly recommend it. I thought it was very well done. And um, yeah, he can write a sh the heck of a short story. So that's it for me today. That's my Stephen Graham story for the day. I'm going to have one more, I think, next week. And then the month is, gosh, we're almost over in June. <laughs> so again, I will link that playlist below so you can catch all the other Stephen Graham Jones videos if you've missed them or you need to catch up. And um, yeah, so till next time, that's going to do it for me. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, friends.